Hello, friends. <laughs> Are you ready to go on a vacation? A staycation? Uh, if only. Hello, I am Mary Judd, and I'm going to talk to you today about planning a meaningful, memorable staycation. We are all in unprecedented times where we can't travel, we can't take off, and we can't go visit our loved ones and our good friends and just relax and get away from it all physically. But we can do it mentally, <laughs> and we can do it here in our own, our own homes, in our own communities. So for now, let's take a little staycation with me while I give you some tips on how to plan for your staycation. If you have a pen and paper, or if you like to take notes on your iPad, get those handy because you're going to want to write some things down as we make our plans. So I have a person that I think of often when I need to really get centered and remember the power that we all have right where we are. And that person is Viktor Frankl. Have any of you read this book, Man's Search for Meaning? I bet a lot of you have. I, I read this, it was assigned to me when I was in college for a, a beginning psychology class. And when I read it, I was not only educated about what it would be like to be in a concentration camp. Viktor Frankl was a prisoner in a concentration camp. And uh, that was horrific enough. And a lot of us right now can relate to really unpredictable, scary situations. And the way that Viktor Frankl dealt with it, a situation where he was truly fearing for his life, seeing people being killed all around him, <laughs> he was able to get away from it all. And what he would do, the passage that really impressed me was, there was a, a scene where he was, or a, a moment where he was in the middle of the night out working, just having to dig trenches in the freezing cold. His boots had holes in them. And it was miserable, miserable circumstances. And he's digging and then he finds himself just completely gone. And where did he go? He went back to memories in his home where he could smell the scent of his wife's hair. And he just, he was going to every good memory about that, that he could. And he just was lost in it. And it was as if she, almost she was right there. He could just remember that great feeling. And when a guard came up to get him back on track, he thought, oh, that guy can never take away that memory. So this is what we want to do. We want to be able to go back to what makes us feel good and be able to create memories right now, today, that can sustain us, that can fuel us right where we are, and possibly in the future when we need to really look back and remember more good things that have happened to us. So your first assignment right now is, do you know what makes you feel really good? Think of a past vacation that you've taken. What do you remember? What did you love about it? Why, why do you want another vacation? What is it about vacations that makes you feel good? It's important to know that. Vacation is to vacate, get away from it all. So think about that. What is it that you love? And is there a way that you can maybe make that happen? this summer, right now. So, <laughs> pleasure. You need to know your pleasures. What do you love and what was it? I wanna show you something here from Songwriting with Soldiers. So this program, Songwriting with Soldiers, that I helped co-found with Darden Smith, we make sure we hold our retreats for veterans and their families in beautiful settings. So it's like a vacation. It's a place that takes them away, beautiful and they have time to play, time to unwind, and remember later on through this book, so many of the beautiful memories that were created and the beautiful place. We create a book to savor, to remember, to go back to. I bet most of you have photo albums or maybe journals or things where you've been keeping track of times in your life that were so meaningful to you. 
So savoring is a really, really important step. It's an important life tool, but it's an important step when you're planning. So second vocabulary word for you, savor, take time to remember the good and savor it. That right there boosts your positive emotions and that will fuel you for the next step. The next step is to schedule, schedule, make a plan for your staycation. You have to make the time. So a lot of you from work, when you're going on vacation, you schedule it. It's on the calendar. You have to take time off. Well, at home, same thing. Please schedule time for yourself. Schedule time as much as you can for your own staycation, whether it's a couple days, maybe a week, or if it's just an afternoon, you need one of these. A timer. <laughs> you have to schedule time for yourself. And then you have to think about what do I need during that time? What do I need to find engagement? Engagement is flow. What do you love to do? What do you do on vacation or in your free time that takes you completely into the zone where you're flowing? You are not aware of time. You are enjoying what? What is it? Write some notes down. What are you doing when you lose track of time, when you're just so in a zone, feeling so good? What are you doing? Make a short list. Make a long list. Think about that. What do you love to do? And if you're like Viktor Frankl, who brings you joy? Is there someone you do live with or is there someone that you could connect with? Who brings you joy? He thought of his wife and the memories and that brought him right back to it and it fueled him past those difficult moments. For me personally, my mom, I'm thinking of my mom right now because this right behind me is a piece of art that my mom created that I love. And I love it because right now it reminds me of her and it is so creative and colorful and fun. And then I remembered the times when my mom was cutting out all these different pieces of fabric and sewing and putting things together. So right now I'm actually having a little mini vacation in my head. <laughs> That's a good start. And what I can do is fuel me Fuel me further. Okay, what do I want to do? What's something I want to do on this staycation? Well, looking around my house, like most of you, we are not able to go far. And I'm thinking beauty, creativity, people that mean a lot to me. This is one of my favorite, favorite artists, funky, eccentric people on the planet, Frida Kahlo. So I have this beautiful book, Frida's Fiestas. And when I look at this book, it inspires me. And I am going to use this for part of my vacation planning, my staycation at home, this book. And I look at this beautiful picture. I'm taken to Mexico here. And I'm taken to warmth and sparkling water and a gorgeous table. <laughs> look at the table and all the things that they've got on there that look so tasty. I want to do that. I'm going to get out my Mexican placemats and my margarita glasses and go to the market, pick out some really exotic foods, make some Mexican food. And maybe my whole staycation will be Mexican themed. Where do you love to go? Is there a culture that calls to you? Is there music that calls to you? I'll definitely put on some mariachi music. I'll probably play some songs from Songwriting with Soldiers that Radney Foster sings that are bilingual. No me preguntes or me perdi. I love those songs and they are pleasurable to me. I savor the memories of them being written and they make me happy right now. That's a win, win, win. Also reading. I love to read. I love to learn. This is a great book for those of you who want to go somewhere else on your staycation. Granta Travel. There's so many great travel writing anthologies and you can learn about a new place and just get some masterful writing. So I plan to take this on my staycation. What are you going to take? <laughs> you want your pleasures. You want your engagement. And the third key ingredient, those of you who know me, you probably know what I'm going to say. Meaning. Pleasure, engagement, meaning. We are happier when something is meaningful, duh. <laughs> when
when something is meaningful to us, it's meaningful to me. And it's meaningful to our bigger picture. And right now, thinking beyond ourselves is critical. How can we be part of something bigger than ourselves? Connecting to others, connecting to things we love is so important. And if it's in service of other people, it's even better. But right now, this is about your staycation. <laughs> so it needs to be about you and fueling you and you feeling better. So why? Because times are hard, period. Right now, times are very hard. We have COVID-19. Not good. We have protests. We have a lot of uncertainty in the world. We need to fill our cup. We need to be whole, work on our whole being. So take time, take your staycation, fill your cup. What fills your particular cup? It's worth it. And then how do you end your staycation or make the most of it? You need closure. We do this at the retreats. We get everyone together at the end of the retreat and we take time to really acknowledge what we just did. We acknowledge what happened, the really good thing that just happened to us and the strengths that we brought to it. You can do this. You can do this by yourself. You can do it with your family, your friends. Take time to honor what you did. If it's an afternoon staycation, sit down, acknowledge it, make yourself a little video or write in your journal. What did you do that made you feel good? Acknowledge it. And if you really want to be snazzy, <laughs> make yourself a postcard. Send yourself a postcard. What do you not want to, what do you want to remember about your staycation? What do you want to remind yourself of? Send yourself a little love in the mail. So I found a poem this morning that I want to leave with you for closure. And it is from this book, another book. I'm a book fiend. Will Kimbrough wrote today and he said, you should never be bored if there, as long as there are books around. And I agree. So this is a book of poems on human flourishing. And, and it's poems from all over, across time and cultures, beautifully cataloged, categorized into um, themes that resonate. Resilience, love, loss, um, nature, all sorts. But I recommend it. And I found a poem this morning that I want to share with you. It is from Sarah T's, no, this is from Chimnoy Kumar Ghos. I've not heard of him. It's called Start a New Beginning. When the answer does not seem to come, do not give up. Try to wait a little more. When the answer does not come at all, do not give up. Start a new beginning. This time, Smite your heart with your throbbing cries and break your face with illuminating smiles. <laughs> uh, I love that. Break your face. We all need to break our faces with smiles right now. <laughs> See how many people you can help break their face with a smile. We need it. And it feels good and it fuels us. So that's my parting word for you there, along with a couple announcements. For those of you who would like to see live shows on your staycation on Wednesday nights on Songwriting with Soldiers Facebook site and on YouTube, we have Stay at Home or Songs from Home, a concert series that we've started during this pandemic. Every Wednesday night, 7 Central, 8 Eastern, live concerts from our songwriters one at a time. This week we have Terry Radigan this coming Wednesday. Uh, two nights ago, we had Georgia Middleman and Gary Burr. We have several others that you can see in case you missed them and more to follow. So Terry Radigan this Wednesday night, tune in. And for those of you in our Songwriting with Soldiers community, we have meditation Saturday morning again with Kevin Reeder, 9 a.m. Central, 10 Eastern. On Monday evening, 5.30 Eastern, 4.30 Central, we have our recording engineer, Carl Blackwood, and he'll give us recording tips. If these move beyond our Facebook group page, we will post them and we'll let all of you know here on these sites. Um, for now, thank you. I'm going to get ready. 
I'll look for some questions. But uh, bon voyage, my friends. <laughs> Do whatever it takes to make you smile, to help you get away from it all for a little while, relax, unwind, feed your soul, and then pass it on. If you have questions, send them in. Otherwise, you can email me, Mary, at songwritingwithsoldiers.org, and I'll be happy to share these resources, these tips. There's a lot of ways you can keep feeding your soul. Have a great trip. Send a postcard. <laughs>